to throw that weight forward. So really slingshot, it's like a slingshot motion. You, you're back there, up, release, basically. So I'm building up the revs before it, and as soon as I'm throwing my weight forward, that clutch comes out. When you build the revs, you got your clutch right on engagement. So yeah. you're loading the motor too. Yeah, loading the There's motor. No just like, run, uh, yeah, a bit like what we're doing down yeah. there. Just. You don't need heaps of revs because you know just quarter throttle that's more than enough not even quarter and um because you know it's it'll get you up it's so, just the body position is the crucial part the, the idea yeah if we were to ride that like in you know your normal sort of situation definitely i like to place that front wheel you know three quarters up you know where you're going to create a bit of pressure on that front wheel um, and that's because if I just wheel it, I'm more likely to slam into the bash plate and I'm not going to get drive. So it's, um, I'd really like to demonstrate that technique a lot more on the log. On a log, typically, you punch in really hard in the face of that log and you're getting actually lift from that rear tyre. I can afford because I know I can allow my rear tyre to hit the face of the bottom of this lip. So um, it's more of a front wheel placement technique. Yeah. So like this one, like that bailout technique is really good when you're stuck on really sh shitty hills. You know, got tree roots and stuff like that. Getting your leg on that um, foot peg and going is perfect, you know. You come across all this sort of shit on steep hills all the time, really. Like, you know, sometimes you can't get up and you have to get yourself out of trouble. So it's much better to know how to get yourself out of trouble. So, um, yeah, if you, if you were to ride this normally, yeah, you'd come up to it, place the front wheel, three quarters up and um, release the clutch. So the second time. The second time, yeah. So we, we can definitely go through that a lot more down the bottom. When you look at this ledge here, what would you think of doing? Uh, I'd probably sit on the rock over here and rest. <laughs> <laughs> I'd probably go up here. <laughs> I, I mean, might hit it where it's lower. Well, this is probably a perfect opportunity to work on getting over it as well, you know, because um, you might you know, I like to demo how to get out of trouble because when we're when you try and do something, you always, you know, it doesn't happen all the time. So if if you can actually practice both ways, getting over this and then getting stuck, <laughs> getting out of trouble, that's going to be perfect. So if if we were to ride this normally, get yourself obviously set up as much run up as you can because you know you've got plenty of room there. Back yourself up. Up on the pegs, have confidence. You want to hit this obstacle square on. Come in, compress the suspension. It's always good to preload. Yeah, so if, if it's the, basically a similar technique to the double blip, I'm releasing that clutch, punching it against that obstacle, so where I'm going to create equal pressure with the suspension, three quarters up, usually. Uh, as that front wheel hits it, I release that clutch again. And that's where that sort of two motions come into play. And what I'm doing, I'm, I'm transferring my weight back to gain traction, that bike's taken off, but my finger's always resting on that clutch. Yeah. It's all, yeah. I think that's a better technique. Ideally, if you wanted to, you could really just wheelie up it. But I feel like being precise is more beneficial. You know, it's um, it helps a lot. If you, you know, if you just wing it and just fucking slam into it, it looks messy. It's just like we want to try and be on on point with everything. So um, yeah, I feel like. Let's try mix it up, you know, if you feel like having it a go, trying to get up it, good. But definitely try that get out of trouble technique for sure.
Hey, hey, hey.